ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين I start in the name of Allah the compassion and the merciful and I would say that all praise is due to Allah the Almighty and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad his family, his companions and his followers all until the day of reckoning My brothers and sisters, I welcome you to this new episode from this series on the prophetic biography, a seerah and nabawiya of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And again, uh, I'm very thrilled to be here to record from this very, very special place. Behind me is the mihrab of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he used to lead the prayer. And here he prayed at night and during the day and receiving the companions and receiving all the delegations. And here he sat with his own companions. He was teaching. He was, in fact, directing them. He was consulting with them. He was really giving them confidence. He supported them. He actually was the leader in all aspects. And to the left is his mimbar or the pulpit where he used to deliver sermons to, for Muslims to guide them, to show them the right path. Let me tell you, because we need to know our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam very, very close uh, through learning who he was. Let me tell you that, of course, he is coming from the descent of Adam Alayhi uh, Salam through uh, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam and down to uh, Ismail and then to Adnan and then down to his own father Abdullah. Let me tell you what we know for sure because all of the uh, historians talk about uh, 21 fathers that we know for sure like father and grandfather and grand-grandfather and so on until Adnan. 21 fathers are certainly for sure are the fathers of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So he came from a noble lineage. He is, let me define who he was alayhi salatu wasalam. Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim. And Hashim actually, in, in fact, Abdul Muttalib, some, uh, let, me, let me first tell you the series is Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim ibn Abd Manaf ibn Qusay ibn Kilab ibn Murrah ibn Ka'b ibn Lu'ay Ibn Ghalib, Ibn Fihr, Ibn Malik, Ibn Nadr, Ibn Kinana, Ibn Khuzayma, Ibn Mudrika, Ibn Ilyas, Ibn Mudar, Ibn Nizar, Ibn Mu'ad, Ibn Adnan. And Adnan, of course, from the descent of Ismail, alayhi salatu wasalam. And Ismail, we know for sure, or Ishmael, is the son of Prophet Ibrahim or Abraham. May Allah's peace be upon them both. Now, we, uh, I have to define here certain things because we know that he is the son of Abdullah and Abdullah is the son of Abdul Muttalib. Now, some people would, would wonder what is Abdul Muttalib? How could he uh, be called Abdul Muttalib? Well, during the time of ignorance or jahiliyyah, they used to call Abdul Uzza, Abdul uh, uh, Muttalib and so on. Well, it is a story. His name originally was Shayba because he was born in Medina and when he was taken by his uncle, Al-Muttalib, actually they thought that he was, uh, uh, in fact, uh, his own servant because he carried him along behind him on the same animal. And uh, they thought that when he arrived in Mecca, uh, they said, this is your own slave. He said, no, this is my nephew. He is the son of my uh, 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 brother. But they, um, they didn't. They, they just, it, it just was a nickname that, that he carried along. And Abdul Muttalib is the son of Hashim. Now, we know that the Prophet is the, from the descent of the uh, Hashimi, or that we know that uh, Hashemite 
descent. Now Hashim was, his name was Amr, but uh, he was called Hashim because he was very, very generous and he used to um, break bread. That's why I called him Hashim. Hashim is the breaker. Uh, he was and spread it to uh, to feed the pilgrims during uh, uh, when they when they came to Mecca. Ibn Abd Manaf, Ibn Qusay, Ibn Kilab, and then uh, they they, call, they go back to Fihr. Now Fihr is uh, actually uh, the name uh, or the father of his his name is Quraysh, and uh, he is the father of Quraysh, and that's why the Prophet is uh, from the Hashimi descent and from Quraysh. He is. Uh, Qurashi, and they go up to uh, Adnan, the son of, uh, uh, from the descent of Ismail, alayhi uh, Beyond that, between uh, Adnan and Ibrahim, well, there are certain reports. Some some uh, scholars said, yes, we know that this is the uh, lineage continuing up to Ibrahim, and then of course from Ibrahim to Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam. Well, we cannot say or tell for sure um, what exactly, how many fathers are and what their names are and so on. So uh, even some scholars said that it is not recommended to go beyond Adnan and to, to say exactly who the fathers are. Although the recording uh, is, is there for uh, who the fathers are until until Adam, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in the glorious Quran, وَقُرُونًا بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ كَثِيرًا There are many centuries uh, in between uh, in regards to how many uh, people came in history uh, throughout uh, the, the time. Let me tell you that uh, the father uh, and mother of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the, the mother is known to be Amina bintu Wahb, ibn Abdi Manaf, ibn Zuhra, Ibn Kulab, so she is uh, from Bani Zuhra, and uh, uh, he uh, actually, uh, she, she, she actually, the, the, the Prophet uh, father and, and mother meet um, in uh, under Kilab Ibn Murra. So they came from grand grand grandfather, and then came down to uh, where they uh, were actually. Uh, married because, I, as you know, uh, the mother, uh, Amin ibn Tuhab, uh, was uh, from Bani Najjar from here in Medina. Banu an Najjar used to live in Medina, and uh, uh, Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib used to be in Mecca. So actually, he he came from, and they they had even Hashim, his grand grandfather. Uh, came and married uh, a lady by the name of Salma from here and he went afterwards to Syria and came through back uh, into what we know today as Gaza or Gaza and uh, he, there he died so in, in, in fact the, the name still is valid today for Gaza they call it Gaza to Hashim so it was actually where Hashim the grand-grandfather of the Prophet peace be upon him um, uh, died there and then his son Abdul Muttalib came and, and uh, uh, back, was brought back again to Mecca in order to, um, to be close to his own uh, fathers in, in Mecca. So uh, the Prophet Sallallahu father, Abdullah, is actually coming from Abdul Muttalib. Now Abdul Muttalib was, uh, again, a noble person, a very generous person, very, um, very uh, great man, nice looking. He has an authority in Quraysh. And when he, when he came uh, to, uh, to power, actually he was serving and leading uh, Quraysh in the best of all manners. And he, uh, he actually took care of his grandson, uh, uh, Muhammad. But even caring for his uh, son, Abdullah, Abdullah, was really a, 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 a very favored son to him because there was a story behind that where he actually wanted to uh, uh, dig Zamzam. He, Zamzam was actually uh, uh, not known for some time because of wars, because of what happened. So uh, it, it, was, it was not really uh, uh, the place of Zamzam was not really clear and people was not in use 
for, for some time, but uh, Abdul Muttalib wanted to uh, bring that back again to life, and he saw in his dream um, at night that, yes, he wanted to uh, dig again Zamzam and, and, and make it uh, 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 again in service. So what happened, he asked Quraysh that he, he wanted to have that honor. They said, we want to share with you. He said, well, uh, he had only one son, Al-Harith, and he said, if I would have 10 sons and I would uh, be, uh, you know, uh, thanking Allah by slaughtering one of them for the sake of Allah. That's what he, what he had in mind during his own judgment uh, during the time of Jahiliyyah before Islam. Now, uh, when he was given 10 children, in fact, some, scholar, some, some historians say that he, he had 11, he actually wanted to uh, uh, kill one and he wanted to draw lots. So he uh, kept drawing lots on which one of them and every time the lot c came to Muh the Abdullah, the father of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he wanted, in fact, he took the knife and he wanted to slaughter him in, in, in the haram for the sake of Allah. And Quraysh said, hey, wait, uh, don't do it. Uh, try to find a way to uh, compensate for that. So actually he went to um, uh, a priest and uh, uh, in Khaybar, which is close to Medina, and they, uh, uh, she said to them, wait until I get some, some knowledge about this. Finally, she, uh, she came to, she, she gave them the, uh, the idea that you need to uh, put some uh, camels uh, instead. And every time they, they said, okay, we'll put 10 camels and, 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 and draw the lot between Abdullah and the, and the camels. And every time uh, the lot would come to Abdullah. So they did it 10 times until the uh, camels reached 100. Finally, when the camels when the camels reached 100, it came that uh, yes, uh, we're going to uh, make the slaughtering to the camels, the 100, not to Abdullah, and Abdullah uh, was saved, and that's why he later married Amina bin Dwab, and this marriage produced our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam, and. Uh, that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, "An ibn al-Dabihain, I am the son of the two slaughtered ones, meaning Ismail ibn Ibrahim, because he's, he's, he came from that descent, and Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib, again, where Allah saved both Ismail and Abdullah from being slaughtered and uh, sacrificed for Allah's sake, of course. But then it was, it was alhamdulillah, this good marriage produced our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the man who showed light to humanity, who came to guide people into the right path, to be the last messenger, the Prophet that really was the one to, uh, to deliver uh, the message of Allah to all humanity, to let us uh, know what Allah wanted from us. He is, alayhi salatu wa sallam, the guide he is the one to show us the path. And that's why we respect him uh, in, that, in that sense and uh, take him as a leader, take him as, a, as an example to follow and respect him so highly. Alayhi salawatullahi wa salamu. Asalullah azza wa jal an yuwafiqana ila kulli khair wa an yuallimana deenana wa an yuwafiqana wa iyaakum ila ikmal hadhi silsila. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the, on, on the right track and may he teach us uh, more so that we can continue, inshallah, this series until the next episode. I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِّن رِّجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِن رَّسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمًا 